Brooke, we've seen this a million times. When a celebrity has a little PR problem, they really need to nip it in the bud right away or it's going to get out of hand and fast. I feel like sometimes there's just no other way about it. It's gonna get out of hand no matter what, you know? I mean, there's a reason they say the truth will set you free. <laughs> Is that, yeah, that's, I know that's a like, motto you live your life by. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I'm constantly <laughs> telling the truth. Um, but right now, there is no bigger PR disaster than Kate Gate. Yeah. Catherine Middleton's Photoshop flub from last week has truly snowballed into a massive media storm. And with her whereabouts still unknown, it's leaving everyone with way more questions than answers. It definitely is. And with the truly weirdly photoshopped pics and the rampant rumors about her health, her marriage, everyone is chiming in, including some A-listers now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all got to stay relevant somehow. Exactly. From Wondery, I'm Arisha Skidmore-Williams. And I'm Brooke Ziffrin. It's Monday, March 18th. And you're listening to Rich and Daily. So, Richie's Kate Kate is not showing any signs of slowing down. We talked about this last week. She photoshopped allegedly Mother's Day picture <laughs> of herself with her three kids that Kensington Palace then released. And this was after she hadn't been seen in public since December due to her reportedly planned abdominal surgery, which we still have no details about. A lot of suspicion around that as well. Yeah, I can't believe she's not walking around with her shirt up showing us her scars. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> she was like, middle of March, I'm going to go out in a bikini just to settle all the rumors. Honestly, Proof. I would do that. I'd be like, here you go, you would. assholes. Yeah. Here yeah. it is. And I would hope that I have like intestines falling out. So I could be like, you happy now? <laughs> you did this to me. Are you happy now? Yeah, it's just like an infected wound. <laughs> I know. Um, so because of this photoshopping that everyone all of a sudden cottoned on to two hours after they released the photo, let the record show. Yeah. Um, the picture then went viral and stirred up a lot of speculation about what is actually going on with Catherine. Mm -hmm. Now, there are all kinds of theories out there, ranging from bangs, my favorite, <laughs> to her health issues, to yeah. rumors that Prince William is having an affair, which have been around for a very long time. Yes. Uh, and now in a new report from the UK Sunday Times... Insiders are saying that Catherine is devastated by the frenzy that's been created. So the Times report claims that William and Catherine have been shaken by all the rumors and speculation, especially William because he's having an affair. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> he's like, damn shoot. it. Damn it. No one was talking about it this much until now. Um, so the Times was told by someone who claims to be a friend <laughs> of Catherine and William that Catherine just wanted that Mother's Day photo to bring a bit of joy to everyone, you know, thank them for all the well wishes and support that she received during her recovery from surgery. Now, Richie's, we did mention this last week. Catherine, allegedly Catherine, owned the Photoshop mistake in a statement that was released last week. Now, she referred to herself as an amateur photographer who likes to occasionally experiment with editing. So many Which, people... Who hasn't? Of course. We all have a PicMonkey subscription. That's what everyone is using. Pick Some Monkey. of us just use the free one <laughs> and use different emails. Some of us sign up by accident and forget to cancel That's what it. Some of us do do, yeah. And just let it go forever. Catherine probably um, did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I got to use like, this. I asked one of the palace <laughs> staff to remind me and they forgot. Mm -hmm. So now I got to pay for a whole year. Yeah. So a lot of people questioned if she actually edited the photo us included, mm -hmm. like, come on. But another source who the Times refers to as a friend and advisor to William and Catherine confirmed that she did, in fact, edit it. They said, if you want to call out the mistake, it was Kate not telling her team that she'd edited the photo. But she came out and said, sorry, the photo was a misstep. Even with something as innocent as that, you should disclose altering it. So we're supposed to just believe this person? Like, I can't okay. believe how quickly they're all throwing Kate to the wolves. I know. Like the way that they're like the way that they're saying, first of all, this friend and advisor. Uh-uh. We can't trust you any can't, advisor people, at this point. I don't I know. I don't trust an advisor any farther than I can throw them. Yeah. And just I mean, it just seems like, oh, we're going to put it all on Catherine. Yep. Yeah. She had the audacity to Photoshop and not tell us. <sighs> I know. Like, I, I don't I, believe that for a second. I love, like, the memes and everything that are like, you mean to tell me that Catherine's, like, pouring over a photo to edit it before 
Mother's Day and like doing all these. Come on. Like, yeah, it's just crazy. But it's honestly insulting to everyone else's intelligence. How yeah. stupid do they think we all are? <laughs> Very. Um, so another royal source told the Times that Catherine might wind up addressing the whole mess during a public engagement since that's when her and William are at their most open. I go. Interesting. She's going to tell every person one by one as she walks down mm-hmm. a line. It's an apology tour. Like, I'm so sorry your eyes had to see that photo that I so poorly edited. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I can't imagine the absolute turmoil you felt inside not knowing yeah. whose fingers were whose. <laughs> so. As for when exactly that public engagement will be, we don't know. The palace has only said that Catherine will resume her public-facing duties sometime around Easter. Mm -hmm. And we did mention this last week. She was set to make an appearance at the Trooping the Color Parade in June, which is still a few months away. But after that announcement, the British Army removed any mention of Catherine on their site because that appearance wasn't actually officially confirmed by Buckingham Palace, which I did not realize. It was confirmed by a friend and advisor. (laughs) They were like, no, we don't know you. They're like, I just wrote Trooping of the Color in her (laughs) diary, and I assumed she knew that that meant she had to go. Yeah. Um, So this all means we're not sure when the next official sighting of Catherine will be. But there are claims that over the weekend we actually had an unofficial sighting. Yeah. Another thing for us to believe. I love the comments. (laughs) (laughs) So sources told The Sun that Catherine was seen with William at a farm shop in Windsor yesterday. Apparently they were watching their kids play sports. Just general sports. Oh, yeah. All the sports. sports. Yeah. I love watching sports. Just kidding. I hate watching sports. Playing sports. Talking sports. <laughs> yeah. How about that game yesterday? Yeah. Killer team. They just really just creamed the other side. Kicking your feet in the air. That's yeah. sports. That ball, the way it just went around. Poof. Uh-huh. It sported hard, that ball. Well sported, for yeah. sure. So after the big day of sports, they went to the <laughs> farm stand without the kids because the kids were tired from playing sports. Sports will take <laughs> it out of you. God. They were like, you guys got any Gatorade at this farm shop? Our kids are thirsty. <laughs> they ran out of orange slices. Um, so one source told the son that they were stunned to see Catherine in light of all the rumors <laughs> and said, it's such a good sign she was healthy enough to pop down to the shops. After watching sports. After watching sports. So Last thing another, I want to do is shop. Another source told the son that Kate looked happy, relaxed, and healthy. Now, here's just the classic part of this that's just, <laughs> of course, this is the case. Um, several people allegedly saw them, but nobody took a picture. So this is all just word of mouth. There is no photographic evidence. I'm just like, you mean to tell me the security at an outdoor farmer's market? is so tight. <laughs> Nobody has a cell phone? There's no way in hell. Anytime these people go outside, someone takes a, p- a picture of them. And this sports, the sports that her kids were playing. Exactly. Nobody's taking a picture of their kids, or is it just her three kids playing sports by you, themselves? You mean to tell me Sports Illustrated wasn't there on site taking I photos of it. all the sports? I don't believe it. Sports Illustrated is on hand for every sport because it's in the title of their magazine. Exactly. <sighs> so, Okay. <laughs> And I love the comments. Nobody believes these posts. Of course not. Because I was like, they? oh, she's been spotted. And I clicked on it. <laughs> people, no one believes it. Like we, for once, we are collectively fighting back against yes. gaslighting. And I'm yes. proud of us as a society. And Same. I have not said that in years. No. And I'll probably never say it again. I never will. Honestly, <laughs> I shouldn't even say it now because it's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. But it's nice to have this something to yeah. unite us. Yeah, for sure. We are the United States. Of America. Yeah. Brought on. And we're against the, the British now. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they made us. They created this monster. <laughs> okay. So ever since Kate Gate blew up, every online rando has been weighing in with their theories, as well as every podcast host <laughs> from here say. to the other shining sea. Um, and now we have celebrities getting in on the fun. Kim yeah. Kardashian shared a carousel Instagram post over the weekend. And in the caption, she wrote, on my way to go find Kate. Yeah. And then Blake Lively, <laughs> this one's really funny, seemed to poke fun at Kate's Photoshop skills. So she posted photos on Instagram promoting her drink lines, Betty Buzz and Betty Booze. <laughs> they should have Betty Boop on the cover of those or on those I cans. don't know why they don't. I know. 
So she didn't mention Catherine by name, but the first pic she posted was a very photoshopped picture of herself. And in the caption, she wrote, I'm so excited to share this new photo I just took today to announce our four new products. And British comedian and TV host John Oliver was on Watch What Happens Live last week. And Andy Cohen obviously asked him about all this craziness surrounding Kate Gate and the Photoshop moment. And here's what John had to say. What? Yes, there is a non-zero chance she died 18 months ago. <laughs> <laughs> they might, might be weekend at Bernie's in this situation. Right. Non-zero. I'm not saying it happened. Right, right. right. but non-zero. Horrible. I'm but saying non- it's non-zero. non-zero. <laughs> we, until proved otherwise, until you see her with a copy of the day's newspaper. <laughs> try not to jo- like I try not to joke about the like her being dead no yeah you know that's like I'm, a lot I'm but... truly really still holding out that it's the the bangs it's either the bangs theory or the palace is covering up something else yeah Those are my two theories yeah and throw in poor Kate and I gotta say Blake Lively trolling her is so funny do you remember when she posted that picture with Ryan and she like painted on her Christian Louboutin shoes yes I do remember that <laughs> like that was Blake's funny the original photoshopper out there I know I love Blake I, I just I mean like you know people in the comments were like it's not funny blah, 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 blah. like okay. in Kim Kardashian's comments it's like can we all just relax what do, what do we want I think we should have fun with it until we can't you know what I mean <laughs> yeah because it's like an I announcement mean, that's I think like it's, oh yeah okay because the world is awful and terrifying. And the idea of it being like, oh, yeah, she went to Photoshop camp and it turned out she didn't <laughs> succeed. It's funny. It's funny to, like, come up with those ridiculous theories. Yeah. Sue I'm... us for not wanting to just live in absolute devastation all the time. I know. Like, <sighs> Catherine's fine. You know? Yeah. She yeah. barely gets the brunt of anything. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. let us just have some fun. And, yeah. and if there is something serious... We'll stop having fun. We'll stop having fun. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But for now, and it's what Catherine wants. I just know it. She's working on her big exit plan. <sighs> God, the I sequel hope so. to the spare written by Harry. <laughs> <laughs> the spare's sister in law. Yeah, perfect title. Really no rolls notes. off the tongue. Yep, perfect. <laughs> From Wondery, I'm Arisha Skidmore Williams. And I'm Brooke Sifrin. This is Rich and Daily. See you tomorrow, Richies. If you like our show, please follow us on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening right now. Be sure to follow us on all socials at Arisha Skidmore Williams and at Brooke Sifrin. We love to connect with you. 